I was watching the video of the Zest performance and you see the performer that kind of moves and the shadow that comes through and then there's the Tai Chi movements as well. In terms that of- That was me, by the way. Oh, that was you. <laughs> That's I couldn't me. really tell, right? From the, it was just shadow and it was a, it was very, this very cool yeah. like mirror. Well, it was like a recording of me and it was like live performing. Yeah, yeah. It was definitely check it out like, guys who are listening to this because you spin out a bit. You're like, oh, which one's a recording and which one's real? And then you kind of see movements and- uh, you can tell there's a lot more deeper thought into this. From my research, Crystal, in a previous interview, you've mentioned that I don't box myself in one method of art making. I think art should be a means of discovery. I'm fascinated by creating work that is beautiful yet uncomfortable. And my question to you when I was reading that, Crystal, is I would like to understand more about what you mean by creating work that is uncomfortable. I love making people feel uncomfortable. I like to make myself uncomfortable, like trying to push myself outside of my comfort zone. I mentioned to you before in a previous email how like I never thought of myself as going to be a digital artist. I was thought I was going to do like traditional illustration and had an oil painting background. And even like my essay for going to art school was that digital art, fake art. Going back to this idea of uncomfortable, what I mean is also like exploring topics that make people feel uncomfortable like death vulnerabilities things that makes us really human and i personally don't gravitate toward like political art but subjects of what makes us feel insecure and sure is scary but also quite fascinating to me just get into the uncomfortable comfortable place and just stay there like physically and also mentally yeah, yeah. facing that uncomfortable until it becomes comfortable yeah, and maybe I'll enjoy it. Or I can say I gave it a go. 